This video demonstrates how to visualize the small bowel via capsule endoscopy with the PillCam SB3 capsule. This advanced technology captures clear images of the small bowel with a single, non-invasive, patient-friendly procedure. The patient simply swallows a capsule that contains a miniature camera. As the capsule travels through the patient's small bowel, it captures color images and transmits them to a recorder. The images are later compiled into a video for your review and interpretation. Before scheduling your patient for this exam, make sure you have all the required equipment. This includes the PillCam SB3 capsule, a fully charged PillCam recorder, and PillCam software. You also need either the 8-lead PillCam SB3 sensor array with adhesive sleeves, or the PillCam SB3 sensor belt with optional disposable cover. At least one day prior to the procedure, review the detailed pre- and post-ingestion instructions with your patient. Ensure the patient understands these instructions as adherence is critical to the success of the exam. One day prior to the procedure, verify that your patient understands the diet instructions for the day before the exam and the exam day. Patients must be on a clear liquid diet beginning at lunchtime the day before the exam. In addition to acceptable clear liquids, your patient should also be informed of specific liquids they should avoid. Remind the patient that they will be on a complete food and liquid fast 10 hours prior to the procedure. Finally, ensure the patient has any other information they might need on the day prior to the exam. Instruct them on what to wear and what to bring with them on the exam day. Remind the patient that if they require any medications, they should take them no later than two hours prior to the exam. On the day of the exam, ensure the patient has followed all the instructions. Before the patient arrives, make sure you have all the required equipment. If you are using the PillCam SB3 sensor array, prepare it before the patient arrives by inserting each sensor into an adhesive sleeve. The dots and this side up markings should be facing away from the adhesive side of the sleeve. To begin the patient check-in process, place the pill cam recorder in the cradle. Ensure the battery indicator light on the DR3 cradle turns green or that there are eight or more bars displayed on the battery recorder icon. With the pill cam software open, click patient check-in and follow the steps on the screen. After patient check-in, Keep the pill cam recorder in its cradle until just before ingestion of the capsule to conserve battery life. When you are ready for the procedure, press any of the navigation buttons on the pill cam recorder. Confirm that the screen shows the correct patient's name. If you are using the 8-lead sensor array, place the sensors on the patient's abdomen according to the sensor location guide. If you are using the pill cam SB3 sensor belt, you have the option to place a disposable cover over the belt. Then, wrap the belt around the patient's abdomen. Feed the belt through one of the straps and fold the belt over so the hook and loop fastener adheres securely. Place the downlink loop on the patient's left shoulder, crossing their body on the right side. Adjust the downlink loop to remove any excess cable so it fits closely to the patient's body. Any excess cable can be tucked into the hook and loop fastener on the front of the belt. Tighten the straps on the side of the PillCam SB3 sensor to prevent it from shifting. After attaching either the sensor belt or sensor array, you're ready to give the patient the recorder. Place the recorder pouch across their body, over the left shoulder. Adjust the level of the pouch to keep the recorder at the patient's right hip. To connect the sensor belt or sensor array to the recorder, Insert the cable connector into the matching connector on the top right side of the recorder. You will hear a chime sound. Next, you will pair the capsule before ingestion. If you entered the capsule ID during check-in, hold the capsule near the patient's abdomen for at least 15 seconds. The capsule and recorder lights will begin to blink in unison. Once this happens, the red pairing icon will change to green, and the white capsule LED on the recorder will blink blue. If you did not enter the capsule ID during check-in, hold the blinking capsule near the sensors on the patient's abdomen to perform pairing. 
the white LED on top of the recorder will blink two or six times per second. The red unpaired icon will appear in the upper right corner of the screen. Use the navigation buttons to select the capsule ID that matches the ID on the back of the capsule box. Push the middle navigation button to pair the capsule with the recorder. Once pairing is achieved, the red icon will change to a green paired icon. The capsule LED on the recorder will blink blue and continue to flash at the same rate of the capsule. Three minutes after pairing, the green pairing icon will change to an AFR icon. When you finish pairing, you can instruct the patient to swallow the capsule with a glass of water. To check the location of the capsule, activate the online viewer by pressing the navigation buttons in the following order. Middle, left, right. Before releasing the patient, review the instructions for the remainder of the exam. The patient can then return home and continue most daily activities although the patient must continue fasting for another two hours after ingestion of the capsule. Patients using the sensor array should refrain from bending or perspiring to avoid loosening the leads on their skin. All patients should refrain from sleeping until the end of the procedure. Two hours after ingestion, the patient may resume their clear liquid diet. Four hours after ingestion, the patient may have a light snack they can then continue their clear liquid diet. Instruct the patient to look at the pill cam recorder every 15 minutes to ensure the blue light is flashing. If the light changes color or is not flashing, instruct the patient to contact the physician's office. The exam is complete when the end of procedure alert sounds. This will occur within 25 minutes of the patient passing the capsule into the toilet or when the battery life on the capsule ends. When the patient receives the end of procedure alert, they can remove all equipment and return it to your office as instructed. To remove the equipment, disconnect the PillCam SB3 sensor belt or sensor array from the PillCam recorder. Remove the leads or belt from the patient. Take the sensors out of the sleeves by tearing along the perforations. Do not pull the sensors out of the sleeves, as this may damage them. Wipe the sensors and leads down with alcohol and let them air dry for a half hour. If you are sending the patient home during the procedure, instruct them how to properly remove the equipment themselves. To create the video, disconnect the recorder from the sensor array and place the recorder in the cradle. Open the PillCam software and select Create Video. The recorder bar will indicate when the recording is complete. When the study is downloaded, you can access and review the video using the PillCam Software Study Manager. Achieve direct visualization of the small bowel with the PillCam SB3 system. Medtronic is proud to partner with the GI community as we work toward our shared goal of early detection of GI diseases.